Look at that. The death road. Like I was saying, these insane deep valleys with beautiful variegated trees with coca leaves growing all the in all bushes all around. Yeah. It's the death road. Now, what I would advise is because, you know, I said he should film it in Bolivia and then pick up shots in different spots even. This would be where he ambushes people as he catches up with them because it takes so long to drive from yeah. where he is. That he catches up with them, right? Yeah. The people that, are, like, that's why I was saying, like, they, they shot people along the road because everybody's struggling trying to get free. And slaughters a ton of them, you know, and then the last people are up ahead or something, you know, up to where the people went and stole the villagers. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, they just want to, like, they're crazy. So, like I, I repeat, the plot is more they want them to do their work for them because they're caustically breaking down bones anyways. Yeah. Then they might eat them or something. It's not like I just wanted to make it dramatic. Like, yeah. it's already bad enough that they're they're trying to get kidnapped villagers to do their, their slavery yeah. work for them. That's what always happens. Yeah. So, <clears throat> anyways... He, along this road along here, you can imagine that he, like, jumps out of the bushes or whatever, because, like, you just say he's been supercharged. Who gives a shit? He's been sprinting for an infinite amount of time because it's faster than a car. I don't care if it's true. Well, I, my thoughts on the matter are, um, I don't know. He could get, like... helped by xavier with like x jet from the future and it could like you know he could jump out of that but like no one is in the jet it's just xavier reaching into the future with his jet that's a very good point yeah and then flying it to a yeah. location because he's so mentally clear yeah because uh captain picard i i i'm paying attention i saw the interview where he, he complained that his foreskin was too short hey listen <laughs> my entire body skin is holding my on my foreskin i need like more skin okay I well yeah we got to research some like creams to rub on your skin to make it grow more i don't know what's going on yeah it's, it's not There's lack of hydration in this desert yeah anyways so like that isn't an excuse to act like you know you're less of a man and uh, it's also not an excuse to say that you've been dead, to say that uh, nobody wanted you in Marvel movies anymore because uh, here you go using your brain and saying that, you know, someone, well, you know, Logan needs your help in that way. You say, Logan, you know, like, yeah. oh, I'm going to help Logan. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and then, you know, to send the jet over to him. Yeah. Then he can, yeah, then that's even better because then he can drop out of it on top of the vehicle at night and start, like, slashing the tires and he crashes one of them and they all, like, pile up and can't move. Well, yeah. And then he's yeah. running between them, like, slashing doors off yeah. and, like, using them as shields for bullets and, like, throwing them into people's testicles and shit. Because, like, my concept here is kind of make it more action-packed and we can still add this in, you know, because it's all digital kind of anyways effects. Like... You know, the Red Witch shows up and heals him. I'll just switch it around on me. Um, and with, you know, super magic, you know, like we said, into his bones and gets all the parasites fixed into making him grow correctly because he can heal forever. So then um, she's, like, going to magically charge him to the point where he can, like, fly, sort of, like, she can fling him across the jungle. And then instead, before that happens... Xavier from the past steps in as he always does and says, You're insane, like you're gonna kill him and or yeah, not kill him, it's but the like same energy yeah. as Jean Grey. Jean Grey, it's right. Same, same energy. energy being same red energy that's possessing women, right? That's the plot. So he, he that's who's always dealing with it. So then he sends his ex jet from the past to the future, but it's just because it's spent years sitting somewhere, then Picks up in the future and moves there. It doesn't actually go through time. No, I'm just sitting there the whole time. Yeah. So uh, then he's like, just just use technology. Don't don't destroy yourself with magic. <laughs> yeah, don't get flung God knows where through the jungle just to be closer. Yeah. Because that's... It's like making fun of the earlier X-Men movies where... Wolverine's unnecessarily getting the crap beaten out of him sometimes. It's yeah, just this stupid. Movie, to be clear, what I was saying is I feel for the Wolverine character as a yeah. character too much to have that happen with this movie. I feel like he should punish others, not get punished for being already having to have fucking bladed claws pour out of his fucking skin. Yeah. 
So anyways. <laughs> but the... Yeah. Of course, the final ingredient to heal him is like, yeah, it needs to be like a rare type of coca that yeah. only grows on like some specific mountain, you know. Yeah. So he's got to like have a moment where he goes there, you know, and like gets it and like, you know, is like, I don't know, standing there with like some storm in the distance all epic, you know, with wide shots. Yeah, some lightning or something. Yeah, something. I don't know. So, yeah, I even have, like, you know, more of a concept of Bolivia now. Yeah. Thanks to this website. And it's, uh, if you take a look here, it's research into education of coca plants and conservation. <laughs> yeah. A giant statue of a guy who's got a, you know, blood flow to his boner because of coca. You see, that's why I need some coca leaves. Here they are in medical outfits harvesting leaves from a random mountainside. Yeah, they're so snazzy. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yeah, it's just a little website of uh, some people who harvest some uh, coca leaves. Yep. They got a museum of coca leaves. Cool. Yeah, Coco Museo. Yep. Interesting. Uh, coca chilling, how to. <laughs> The leaves are not chewed, but sucked. The term chewing is not an appropriate one, but is commonly used. We will use this throughout the article. The technique developed over centuries consists of taking in a mouthful of coca leaves without swallowing them. These are previously stripped of the veins to avoid the traumatic action by these hard parts of the leaf in the mouth lining. Yeah. Remove the hard bits, just like yeah. with the pee. It's kind of dog dissolve it in saliva. Then. Yeah, it's it's just like with a tongue tickler, you know. Yeah. You don't want to break it down immediately. You want to like, you know, savor the zappy energy coming out of the leaf. Yeah. Yep. Don't listen to to the the, the, the next part down there. That's fucking <laughs> whatever. Insane. They get dumber and more hick looking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean, they're they're it, it's a plant. Yep. 